Elon Musk has to be so pissed right now. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. And if you haven't heard the news, check this out. So Elon Musk's massive multi-billion dollar Tesla pay package was blocked once again by the same judge. For those that do not know, this was a huge negotiating tactic where earlier this year, Elon Musk pretty much threatened Tesla shareholders that, hey, if he does not get this pay package that he feels like he deserves, he will take his talents when it comes down to AI development and robotics elsewhere, possibly, you know, really decreasing the value of Tesla stock because right now Tesla stock is the only company that Elon as of now owned that is publicly traded. So all of this value that Elon Musk provides is now currently put through Tesla stock itself, which of course justifies maybe for some, but not for others, an 87X multiple for its PE ratio. With that being said, I wanted to talk about some of the details with you guys, and you guys let me know down in the comment section if you agree or disagree. The part that I find to be very interesting is, will this begin to change once Trump is in office? Can he whisper things? Can he pull a few strings now that he's going to be a part of the Trump administration under the DOGE department, the Department of Government Efficiency? So let's go ahead and break this down. Elon Musk, Record-breaking pay package, which again, it was a record-breaking pay package, was servicing as Tesla's CEO was rejected by a Delaware court despite being approved by Tesla shareholders at a June meeting. For those that do not know, yes, Tesla shareholders did all the proof of what this pay package consisted of, but it's how and why that really, I guess, turned the judge off because he pretty much stated that Elon was really only negotiating with himself on what he felt like he deserved, uh, and he did not see it as a fair pay package to shareholders. The pay package is now worth $101 billion based off of Tesla's current share price. Let's please note that Tesla's current share price is around $357 per share. And based off of this news being released, it has gone from 357 and it's already been selling off into the close, hitting lows of two, uh, 349, selling off 2.2%, but as of right now, only down 1%. So again, can this piss off Elon Musk enough to take his talent elsewhere when it comes down to robotics and AI development? There is no question that, again, it's a domino effect. It is so incredibly overbought here because of him being a part of the Trump administration. It's going to be very interesting to see that what follows after. Can this be the, what do I want to call it, the catalyst that could send Tesla falling back to previous lows due to the uncertainty of how Elon Musk is going to react? Uh, for those that are also not aware, on Monday he made up um, uh, is made up of 303 million Tesla stock options, and it was previously thrown out in January by the same judge. Again, this is a judge based out of Delaware, whose name Kathleen McCormick. You guys, let me know if you think that this is some form of vendetta, but pretty much threw out the 56 billion dollar at the time value of this pay package. At the time, McCormick ruled in favor for the main shareholder in the suit who claimed the package, uh, arguing that Musk and the Tesla board um, pretty much burdened in providing compensation plan was fair, and they failed to meet this burden. So what this pretty much states is I wanted to share this part with you guys. Uh, the large and talented group of defense firms got creative with the ratification argument, but their unprecedented theories go against multiple strains of settled law, McCormick wrote in um, Scathering Opinion. Pretty much said that this pay package was only really in benefit of Elon and Elon himself. Musk is paid not in cash, but salary or bonuses working with Tesla. Rather, Musk, one of the richest people in the world, which again, is just an odd thing to really over fix it on. I get it. He's incredibly wealthy, but he created an incredibly successful company. And again, he sets things up where he does directly benefit from the success of his companies. I don't see anything wrong with that. But nonetheless, I think that, again, it just leaves a distasteful, um, lingering taste in this judge's mouth that, wow, this wealthy, wealthy individual wants to 
even have more money. Uh, he makes his money through these lucrative pay packages of stock options that allow him to purchase millions of Tesla shares at a fraction of the market price. McCormick agreed that the argument for the board is too close to Tesla CEO, noting that Musk admitted that he only negotiated against himself regarding his own compensation. McCormick wrote in her opinion, while Musk is entitled to some form of compensation, the ultimate award was not fair to shareholders. So again, it goes into a little bit more detail and then obviously talking about how, again, Vivek and um, Musk is gonna be a part of the Department of Government Efficiency. But I wanted to see what you guys thought based off of how Tesla is currently reacting can this be the catalyst that sends and tips Tesla over? Also, for those that did not see um, the recap of my trade on MSTR, uh, I ended up shorting MSTR today. I closed out my entire short on the five minute time frame. You can see that there's a beautiful descending resistance with the same common support of around 375 to 380. I made $10,259 and I closed out my trade just like I like to do every single day. So this is still somewhat of a bearish setup, but if you look at this, again, it's approaching previous support, so I just don't wanna to continue to short it if it ends up showing signs of a recovery. Remember, if Bitcoin continues to sell off, so will MSTR. If Bitcoin begins to recover and rally, then so will MSTR. So again, how can you make money if Bitcoin uh, begins to crash? You can short MSTR, and that's what I'm super excited to follow up with. So again, I appreciate your guys' time. I hope that earned your th thumbs up. Do not forget, if you ever want to tune on in to our live trading sessions, you can join in for as little as a dollar per day, and it's the second link in the description down below. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access, and the current sale breaks it down to just a dollar a day is what it comes down to. So what are you waiting for? Click that second link, and I'll see you tomorrow at Market Open for our live session. Take care, team.